good Twitter, Quemax Takeaway, aka the nappiest YouTuber in the 21st century. Family friendly, we hosted offensive Zoom debates. I don't know, I've really, really been freaking with these family friendlies. Hope y'all been enjoying them as much. It seeming like y'all frick with them. I frick with them. We gonna get into it. Let's get it. <laughs> Remember, Swift and I have it is no pretty clue far. I like what we are about to debate. Pretty I'm one far, of the debaters presenting. So is Nathan. Nathan, say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. My name is Nathan. I will be <laughs> debating as well. All right, so new government changes. Okay, so first one. Shelter dogs should be made into hamburger meat because we can't afford to house them all. <laughs> Dude, the kid's yeah. face at the top, Michael's already not yeah. having it. Nathan, some Chinese you food. actually wrote this one. What what was your main point with this? Dude, dude, Mel just put it right on a Nathan. I think we'll be killed off anyways, right? Yeah. We may as well get some protein out of it. Does anybody have anything to say about that? I think that's pretty that's pretty wild. I don't think that's that should be the way it should be. Dude, that's what they be doing at them Chinese restaurant, man. They that's why they they be having them stray cats and dogs turn into some some pow, mud freaking wonton soup. Yeah, what's the problem? Like, especially if they're not going to get adopted, we got to put them in use for, for somehow. We don't want this, this, this cats and dogs just wandering around the streets aimlessly. We're going to turn them to some food. What's the problem? <laughs> Ultimately, it's a very sad reality we live in where yeah. if the dog doesn't get adopted, you know, at Cookie. the end of the day. Control his face. Nala, I saw you shaking your head. Do you have a different opinion? I feel like that shouldn't be the case. Ask her if she's ever had dog meat. It's so good. Have you ever had dog meat, Nala? Because it's not that bad. <laughs> I really can't imagine myself having dog meat. I Tell her she's got to get a taste of a golden retriever. You have to get a taste of a golden retriever. It's it's just a different experience. <laughs> <laughs> she's grimacing. You know, you know what? Hey, hey, let's move on. All right. This one obviously didn't land. It's fine. We're going to move on. I have, one more, I, yeah, I, Nathan, I have one more point. I have one more point. Tommy, let's go. Come on. I have one more point. No, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep yelling at him. Keep yelling at him. Keep let people speak. Keep it going. <laughs> Sorry. Does anybody have any other like debate points? Like Taylor said, I like my dog meat medium rare, and Victor said I agree. Jeez, dude. All right, yeah. we'll move on to the next debate topic. Nathan, you ready? Yep, yep, yep. Children ages six and up should be allowed to vote. <laughs> so the brain does fully start to develop after six. Kids at this age shouldn't be allowed to vote because I feel like it's kind of discriminatory that we're cutting them out of that process. Nathan, do you have yeah, any points ages. you want to make before we ask anybody else what they think? Ages. No, I mean, you really hit the nail with the hammer on the head right there. <laughs> <laughs> anybody want to chime in on this one? Well, as a parent, someone that's raised children, yeah. <laughs> children are, are a little bit irresponsible. No, so you were a kid once too, so it doesn't matter that he's a parent. I, I, see, that, I see that point, Michael, but <laughs> respectfully, I was a kid sooner than you, so I feel like I have more experience with, as, as like a kid, than you. Thanks. <laughs> Swift is dying. <laughs> it was just kind of messed up that I had to wait, what, another 10, 15 plus years until I could actually vote? Well, Cooked. when I was six, I was trying not to get cooties from girls. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and when you were six, it was the 1950s. Like, what are we talking about, bro? Like, I, 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 I have, I was, I was younger, uh, uh, earlier. We just gonna cut this part out, man. I lost my thought. You, your old head energy just threw me off. Frick you, Alexandra. You said you said you had something. I don't yeah. feel that that they should be allowed to go at six and up. Their comprehension of the world is completely different than. They didn't say wrong. Wrong. Cap. <laughs> Get out into the real world. Wrong. Wrong. How yeah. wrong? Mel say wrong, 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 and then muter. Say get muted. Wrong, and I'm gonna mute you for that. Oh, sorry, just sorry. Oh. <laughs> I think we still won that one. Nathan, you wrote this next slide actually, so we're gonna move on to this one. Uh, double taxes for single mother. <laughs> this one. Steph, Steph is so mad. Yeah, so I mean, like, the, just the economy would be booming if we get more money from. Turn my mic again. Hold on. Yo, can you take this one? Sorry, sorry. Dude, dude you can't do this. You can't do this. Bro, okay. Um. So I think Nathan's reasoning for doubling taxes for single mothers is they have a lot on their plate. So if we double tax them, it would just it yeah, would just yeah. motivate them even more to get their life together, to find another Thanks. man to help support their son and get put oh a father God, figure dude. in their life. Alexandra, I saw you make face. I feel like you have a strong opinion on this one. So you would make the assumption that a woman needs to depend on a man? And that well, she does. Out and <laughs> <get another> man. 
most single mothers are in school. They're working. They're working their asses off. All right, get me dog, Sandra. Does anybody else have? <laughs> Dude, she's gonna lose her mind. By the way, she ain't uh, work hard uh, another good point that I want to make is the kid doesn't pay taxes, right? He can't just free. Oh them, no right? way. That is true. We got to give the government more money. I have an opinion on it. Oh, for sure. Oh, 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 oh. Like that's no One thing it could possibly do is if you double taxes for them, it may make them think twice before becoming a single mother in the future. Exactly. Oh, I like that. I like that. Damn right, brother. He's on their side. Cook. What is Cook happening? King. We're going to lose. Cook I don't King. want blue hair sizzle. Taylor said we should tax some kids, too. Taylor, I agree. Tax children as well. I agree. They're freeloading. Oh, you morons should be sh <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, you morons should be sh Now, Dan, why do you feel this way? He's <laughs> having a mental breakdown. We're going to move on. But moving all landfills slash dumps into low neighborhoods. Yeah, so I think this is another motivation thing. Me personally. Facts. Boom. Think of it like this. They already live in the freaking slums, low income. And then just be surrounded by so much trash and filth. That's going to, if for I, I know me personally, if I'm living in the slums, the mother freaking gutter, right? And I'm seeing all this trash and, 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 and landfill and filth all around my, my area. I'm like, I'm a, to myself, I'm like, yo, I need to get out here and it's going to make me grind and work harder to make more money. Literally that simple. If I was living in a low income neighborhood and I woke up every morning to smell the scent of a dump, it would motivate me to work twice as hard to get out of that low income in neighborhood and Talk get my him. money up. Anybody Talk have him. any points on this Talk one? To him. As messed up as it is, I would have to say I agree. Yeah. What? Yes, Thank that's right. Thank Alexandra. No, really? no, 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 no. That's this, real spill. No. no. Sorry, no, McCain. this is McCain. terrible. McCain. Why are you laughing about Sorry. this? This is terrible. Sorry, McCain. If you're not going to have your face cam on, you can't say a point. Yeah. Get muted. Okay. <laughs> Get uh, muted. Nala, you unmuted. I agree. Nala, do you have a point? Yeah, I think um, it's actually a very good idea because... Yeah. It's like, what? It's like, right. It's like... Dude, dude, dude. We got to go in here and reverse it. Why are you guys agreeing with these Sorry, morons? Hey, hey. Muted, McCain. <laughs> Joe, yes? Uh, this is just a complete fucking joke because if you understood science, if you actually went to... <laughs> college and got a degree which you didn't obviously because you're an imbecile you're basically saying you want everyone in low-income areas to get infected with dangerous diseases and absolutely and all that population control you don't care about people Real. with low income now listen so you guys, you guys people are, don't matter is what you're saying you guys you want are, them to see, die you guys are thinking of the emotional standpoint not think of it logically let's see your next point then okay pal we've done let's start, see your next point we will get muted nathan the next slide i think <laughs> you get muted i want to make a point on here Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so. Replace preschools with t-shirt workshops so they can get prepared for the real world. <laughs> Loki. <laughs> at preschool, they tell you play, at that. put colors in, you know, blocks in their certain shapes. Through that, we're going to make them productive. Make t-shirts. I am mad at that. To wear. Did, did you just say for us men to wear? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty insensitive to women. So basically, you just want to have sweatshops instead of preschools. <laughs> Hey, they can drip me out. That's I'm exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. Hey, McCain, please. Uh, so, and then, <laughs> Alexandra, do you have a problem with that, though? Like, is there, do you have a difference of opinion? Yeah, I have a difference of opinion. When they're kids, they're sponges. You're basically telling them that their, their only worth is to basically work. Alexandra, I think you're getting it all wrong. Kids are not sponges. They're kids. That's true. <laughs> That's, That's the craziest true. point. That's the craziest point of this whole thing. I see your point, Alexandra, but to me, you're teaching them that hard work can earn the money and get them fun. Absolutely important because getting jobs out here isn't that easy. It's nice to teach th facts, man. Get them already hard, hard wired in their brain to be workers. They're drones. That's what they're here for. We're here to make workers. We're not here to make thinkers. Facts. Far. But that's what that. chores are for. Starting chores? Young. Why don't they just do the chores at preschool and make t-shirts for me? Exactly. <laughs> so when you were children, you should have been making t-shirts instead of learning your shape and colors and your outfit. Oh, for sure. 100%. I'd probably be a billionaire by now. Blah, blah, blah. What's your next point? Okay, so you are, you're admitting to losing this one, so we won this one as well. Nick. Yeah, we lost this <laughs> one. Let's yeah, put well. kids to work at age six, dude, yeah. Anyways, let's move on. Um, yeah. Close all stores in low. Sorry, I have memory loss. Yeah, we could tell. We could tell you got memory loss. Hey, McCain. Okay, I'm gonna ask. Have to ask you to shut it, or else we're gonna permanently mute you. Okay, you won't be a part of this debate, and you will sorry, not get paid sorry, your ten dollars. Back to this. We're gonna close all stores in low income areas and suggest people find their food from the worst <laughs> That's land. Crazy. You know, you close all the stores in the low income areas, and because so many people 
throw their food away and it ends up in the landfills and that's so much food wasted. Do you guys consider the fact that the food in the landfills are very dirty and contaminated and are not safe to eat? I thought about this. This is actually a double whammy. So you eat the contaminated food, it boosts your immune system, no more hospital visits, and you save money because you're not paying money <laughs> for garbage. Yeah. Danelle, did you have a point here? Just like the um the other when you said uh, about the about the, uh, <laughs> uh, can you see what I'm drawing? No. Why? Oh yeah, I, I do. <laughs> You're drawing. Crap. How are you going to draw? Hey Fabio, uh, I just w would like to address something. They're making fun of you with drawings on the screen. Can you address that? It's okay. <laughs> It, they're obviously just upset and they have no argument to win. Well, if you didn't really mute me, then I would. Sorry about that. Dude! Like... Wouldn't they get really sick from all of the bacteria in this landfill? The important thing to look at here is okay, so you take a fly and then you take a homeless person. Who's going to win that fight? Are you saying the homeless what? people can't stand their own? Nathan, we, we, we stopped talking about that a while ago. Yeah. Right, what do you say we, we move on to the next Yeah, song? move on, bro. Okay. Yo, you lost it. <laughs> Give life sentences to single mothers caught stealing diapers. Why did you think this? <laughs> you know, we gotta police everybody. And when it comes to the diapers, there's been a diaper shortage many times over the past decade. And a lot of that has to do with single mothers stealing them. You know what I mean? Sure. And You're honestly, I'm not super against that. You're gonna put them in jail and then our taxpayer dollars are gonna go to this? Yeah, yeah, they wanna steal some diapers? Uh-uh, have, have the baby shit on the ground. That's what I say. Yo, I don't agree with anything you guys are saying. That's okay, well, what, why? Cause I don't like it. Do you have an opinion on why though? Do you have an explanation on why you don't like it? It makes me feel sad. It makes me feel really sad. All right, get muted, get muted. Yeah, go cry. Uh, does anybody else have any more? <laughs> There's a lot of people that are selling drugs that literally kill other folks out of jail. Get say say nah, they're mothers. chill, they're chill. I know a couple of those guys. They're, they're chill, they're cool. <laughs> they're chill. The guy who kills me, my drugs has never killed me. So, exactly. I mean, single mothers, though, to diapers, they would. <laughs> agree. Thank you, Jamel. Let's move on to the next one. I think I did this one. Uh, raise rent in low income neighborhoods so they work harder. Hey, I mean, so, that. has anyone actually noticed that they've only been using minority groups and races <laughs> in this presentation, or is that just me? No, they have. I... Hey, listen, listen, we want to preface this. This is, has nothing to do with any sort of minority. No discrimination whatsoever. All right, so to end things off, we do need to get some more uh, statistics from you guys in the call. Um, can we get a raise of hands for anybody who agrees with our debate topics today? One, two, three, four, five. They have five, hey. dude. Elizabeth said that she disagrees with everything. Didn't ask. Thank you. Yeah, didn't ask Elizabeth. Maybe you turn on your face cam next time, honey. Oh, oh my goodness. That was rough, boy. That was insane. Hey, you guys did so it? good, though. Dude, like, I great. broke so many times. <laughs> Swift and I got five people to agree with our debates, which means if Berserk and Sizzle can get more people to agree with them, then Swift and I will have to dye our hair blue. If you guys thought our things were bad, just wait till you see what these guys have to present. They're not going to survive this. There's no, no way. My name is McCain. Joe Sizzle is actually going to I think be my favorite debating with is probably me. He's Nathan actually like or my partner Joe. on this, I'm and we're going to be going over. The air changes there, needed in society, awesome. right? All right, our first one. Less funds should go towards women in hospitals. <laughs> uh, I think Sizzle, Joe Sizzle actually made this one. Yeah, so personally, this is a point I wrote. I believe less funds should go toward women in hospitals. For like an RT 101, he is not having it. Women can still tend to their babies from their hospital beds. Like, we can just <laughs> have them lay there a little longer while we get the men, you know, back in action. <laughs> so what about the women whose husbands are in the hospital and can't work and they need to be in the workforce? Oh, let's go, Bryce. Let's go, Bryce. Um, they, can, they can figure it out. They can figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> you said the money right now is coming from the men. Yeah, 90% of it. <laughs> You're absolutely right. It does come from the men. Nigel, what the f***? Nigel, Thanks. come on, man. Yeah, there's no, actually a graph to prove it. Where did the graph come from? Source me. I got you. <laughs> you're, you're the source of the graph? Yeah, I yeah. just made it just now. Watch this, ready? Then uh, I don't trust it if you man. made it. Yeah. Okay, look at, look at, see the line? See the big, <laughs> see the big the line picture. right there? It's like goes all the way up to there. I don't know, you can barely see it, okay, but basically bro, that's men up. earners, and this is women earners. It's like right there, it's really small. Nah, that's, that's that was information. Legit. Me. <laughs> You should ask and see if Valerie or something has made less money than her husband to make a good point. Valerie, have you made less money than your husband? Because that could prove my point. Well, first of all, there is no husband, there is no male, and, and there is a reason for that. Uh, that just so. totally didn't prove my point, so we're going to keep moving on. We'll agree to disagree. <laughs> all right. The meat of the human deceased should be donated to third world countries <laughs> suffering from starvation. <laughs> 
need this. You're funny. That's all. Well, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to save the world right now, and you're making this into a, a, something that's lighthearted. <laughs> it's yeah. lighthearted, heavy hearted. <laughs> rest on my Sir, chest all day. Man. What you just said, what, what you just yeah. said is, is it's laughable. Bryce is on him, bro. Let's go, Bryce. Uh, nah, Jones, but like that. Think? I mean, it's not wrong because in The Walking Dead, I forgot the family name, the 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 country bumpkin family. They was cooking the the meat of the zombies and the dead people and making it to food. Why they can't do that? Literally. Listen, people are donating their bodies to science anyway. What if we gave the option to allow people to donate their bodies for food instead of just for science and just for studies? Uh, there's no real difference. Once you're dead, it doesn't matter. Why would anyone want to eat a human being? That Have you ever tried it? McCain, how old are you? Twelve? Uh, Sixteen, actually. <laughs> Come on, let's live in the real world here. Have you ever had the sword of a man? You know what I'm saying? Have you ever had the sword of a man? Oh, amazing. Especially the creamy what ranch the that it comes out of it. Hey yo! I think you guys all <laughs> hey, agree yo. with us on this one. We'll keep it going. Okay. Um, we. You want to read this one, Joe? <laughs> I think I just covered the last one. So if you want to go, okay. <laughs> we should get rid of children's hospitals. Reason why, dude? If imagine this, right? We're in a world where we get rid of children's hospitals. These children grow up way stronger. Like Look at Joe, Joe, Joe can't handle, handle this. Joe can't handle we it. We could use these kids to just like win every war. You know? <laughs> what do you think? Nah, I don't know about that. Cause I come on. Uh, Even Nigel's coming around, bro. Let's go. All right, next slide. What's up? Uh, you got this one, Joe. <laughs> All right, women doctors should be paid less than male doctors. <laughs> yeah, Johnny <laughs> Sin. <laughs> The men are really carrying the economy. We have to be honest. It's just the facts. The uh, wage gap is whoa, real. Whoa. It's not going anywhere. Kathy does not look amused. So if, if you were about to die and a woman walked in the room, you would tell them to hold off until a male doctor was available. To 100%. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. What do you do for a living? That's my question. Oh, I just live with my mom. <laughs> Imagine this, right? You're on your deathbed. <laughs> you are in a heart surgery, open heart surgery, woman should be and paid a woman better walks in. <laughs> look at Valerie's face. Tell me you're not waiting for a man to get there. Am I wrong? <laughs> Only a dick will wait for a man to come. Come on, man. To You're going to die, Bryce. Come on, dude. <laughs> I'm waiting for a man. It's like a swift elimination, man. Hey, guys, I got hey, something, yeah, I got I'll something to say. So, uh, this is actually already the case. Uh, okay. Male physician earn an average of 8.3 million over a 40 year career, where women made 6.3 million. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them stats. Oh, oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. We win. <laughs> Wow. Let's go, RT. Yeah. He brought the facts out. What did these guys do for a home, living? Baby. What's the source on that? This is NewYorkTimes.com. Boom. 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 Thank you, RT, for the facts. Thank you. WRT, thank you, RT. Right, thank here you, we brother. go. Let's keep going here. Plastic surgery should be forced to kids by the age of eight in the U.S. <laughs> what the hell? That picture is crazy. <laughs> Joe can't even keep his face in the screen, bro. <laughs> Joe, what are you doing, dude? They got Joe. <laughs> he's no, he's eating. Joe. They're enjoying themselves. It's not supposed to happen. Can you get off the phone, Joe? This is serious. Yeah, I, I, I hung up. I'm sorry. Come the I'm flip sorry, on, dude. Okay, listen. The <laughs> they own Joe like, here, bro. Your kids <laughs> only. Ah, that would suck. Plastic surgery, boom, fix. Nothing I make is gonna be ugly, but okay. That's crazy. Oh, you got you got some confidence. Oh, RT's raising his hand. Oh shit. Go on, RT, RT, your turn. Right, I think we should actually uh, look into prenatal plastic surgery. I believe after the baby's oh born, it's already too late. There's already been too much development, and if he's ugly, he's already. They hired this guy. They had to hire him. I'm a big fan of RT. I think he should, we should put him on the starting lineup. Do you want to be a, one of our councilmen when we make president and vice president? I'm done, bro. Let's do it. All right, RT. W. What is happening? Okay, w. here we go. On to the next. Okay, listen. This one's this one's a fan favorite. I remember I've told this to you. They like there should be a Hunger Games for those who can't afford their life-saving surgeries. Give them a better chance at getting it. Look at Joe. Joe can't handle this. Joe can't handle this. Bro, Ryan sounds silly, but makes a lot of sense. Why? Let's just keep it to adult. You don't want kids in there? You know how funny that'd be. Listen, we're talking about the people with the one percent survival chance. Maybe if you guys didn't want to defund the children's hospitals, these kids wouldn't have to do the Hunger uh, Games. Get muted. Yeah, this has to be. America is a money hungry corporate country. Do you think G Fuel is going to sponsor a children's hospital? Hell no. Imagine Bet. this. We add betting into it. Imagine betting on like the one kid that you're like, yeah, dude, that kid's going to freaking. He's going to get them all. Dude. <laughs> look at his sword. I got the one. That's on the a left. tough sword. The one though. on the left sword do look like it's active as well. That one. Yeah. That Facts, was going, Bryce. That, that, Facts. Was the that was the winner of last Facts. year's. We had that on an maybe, island. Out, maybe out he in... had a life ending disease and we just yeah. saved him by betting on him, getting him sponsorships. That's like, that's our point with this. But guess what? But There's no you... funding for the women in the hospital. So his mom. 
and had a stroke and died watching the shit. Yeah, man, yeah, frick them on. Yeah. Frick them on. Sucks. Sucks to suck. Wah, wah. To we gotta make sure <laughs> the men are getting almost all of the money. Then it goes women, then it goes to children, whatever. We can have the Hunger Games. Do you even earn money? When I clean my dad's um Lamborghini and wash the dishes, I actually get an allowance once a week, so. Do you know that if you're not 18, you're not an adult? If I wasn't an adult, I wouldn't be able to do this. Get do muted. I'm an adult. Get yeah. muted. We're moving on to the next one. Here we go. Move on. All right, Joe, you got this one. What's the next one? All right, make it? hospital beds uncomfortable. <laughs> this is f***ing bullshit. I they know. all think that it's a joke, and they're all going to vote for them. Shut up. We're not dyeing our hair. Their body will <laughs> not be able to take the pain of the uncomfortable bed, and their body is going to heal faster to adapt and get them off that bed. Joe, how about you make it increasingly uncomfortable? So you thought Genius. So it's really impressive. Oh, it's Bryce, no, Bryce, that Bryce. Was amazing. Bryce. what is Genius Bryce? Point, Bryce? Bryce, <laughs> we're gonna start a company after no, this Bryce. call. Listen, I just got Bryce. the idea for the Bryce pad. Up and Bryce. So the bed is gonna be like this, and as soon as the news comes that they're about to get healed, spikes are gonna start slowly coming out from the bottom of yeah. the bed. I am fucking dead. Yeah. They about to be too. just their number one hater. I he know. Switched, he switched teams. Women doctors should wear more revealing uniforms. Can Facts. anybody else? Facts. To this. Come on, guys. This is just about obviously um, teenage, teenage woman speaking. Oh, there we go. There teenage we go. boy. We go. Frick, no, it's not. Like, bro, like, let's real, like, let's let, let's really lock in and be logical. If I'm sick, right, I'm not feeling good. I'm not gonna be in the best of moods. I'm gonna be like, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be in high spirits because, bro, I'm in a hospital, a place I don't want to be. I'm sick. I'm away from my friends and family. My morale is gonna be going up if I'm surrounded by bad, scantily clad women. If you're straight, if you're gay, you're just cooked. But as as a straight man like me, if I'm surrounded by by nurses that's half naked, oh man, I'm gonna feel a lot better versus some regular degler rinky dink uh uh nurse uniform. For real, for real. And you're talking to a big adult here that pays about two hundred dollars in taxes a year. Okay, I need you to step back. <laughs> You know how nice it would be to see the fun bags that they have? Oh my god, dude. I agree. I would, it would be insane. Have the uniform. Dude, oh my god, the yeah. flotation devices would be carrying us to victory. I find this very misogynistic. There it's you not go, just misogynistic. Yeah, I... This is sick. You know what's sick? And you know what's sick are the you patients. The patients that aren't getting the nice fun bags. Like that's what's sick. Here's an actual point. You're sitting in bed, right? You're laying there. You're sicker than a dog. All of a sudden, a nurse comes in that's just just got the biggest fun bags on her. It's just the fun just bags. Okay. Flotation devices, right? Okay, so like, <laughs> it's just airbags. Okay. <laughs> like, so hey, you gotta remember, you're being insensitive. It's Pride Month. What if they're gay? Then we send in, we send in a male sh with the big sword. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing, man? Come on now. Listen, <laughs> turn this I love y'all. This whole thing is just offensive, man. I don't I don't agree with it. Nathan, get muted. Hey Joe. <laughs> get muted. Yes, sir. Have y'all gone viral yet? Um, all right, guys, that concludes this meeting. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming. You guys absolutely appreciate were amazing. you guys for having me. Do not Thank leave you, yet. Thank There's you, one last always, thing always. we need. If you guys thought this was a successful debate, I want you guys to raise your hand right now and help us with our survey. So we got one, two, three, three four, 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 five, six, Dang. seven. What? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> we're dying our hair. Dying our hair, Bennett. Uh, I love you w. all. This is for a YouTube video. This was completely fake. We love you guys. I swear this is not anything we believe. You know Nathan and I have to dye our hair blue because you voted for these Yeah, two we have to dye our hair blue. <laughs> <laughs> you, guys cool. you guys are all cool as hell. You guys were great people. Seriously. Yeah, guys. What did we get? Did nine? Did we get, get nine? nine? Yeah, you got nine hands. Nine. All right, boys. Let's see the colored hair. Let's see the blue hair. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> nah, that looks crazy. That, that looks, looks crazy. Like that looks, looks crazy. Like <laughs> nah, go for it. Nah, blue Three, don't look good on him. Two, one, go. Dude, dude, what? What the dude, frick? Dude, that's like you look like a crackhead, dude. What? Bro, like a, not, a Joker like a variant. Thank you guys for watching this Family Friendly Friday. If you guys haven't, go follow all our Instagrams. We're trying to get really clouded on Instagram, uh, so help out with the cause. I love you guys and peace out. I love you. Uh, is there anything you want to like add, Smurfettes? <laughs> Don't eat the Carl cubbies. <laughs> man. Hosted offensive Zoom debates, man. These are so freaking funny and fire. Hope y'all like it. For the people that do like it, thank you for liking. Thank you for watching. Quay Max, aka Quay, road to a mother freak 100k.
Whoever you got to tell, let them know. We almost had 100K. Let me get that sub. Show me some love, please. Your mom, sister, dad, uncle, your dad, great grandmother that's in the ground. Pick her up, get her body, make her an account, make her click the sub button, and then throw it back in the casket where she belongs. Okay. Quimax, aka Quay, aka your favorite insensitive YouTuber.